Hello everyone and welcome to episode 5 of Project Demeter. Uh, so today I want to talk about um, seasons. Uh, so I've pretty much finished with the course I'm following and it's covered a huge foundation of things. Um, but today I want to talk about seasons. And I was looking, scouring the internet, trying to find a solution for this. Uh, and I finally came across a page on Stack Overflow, uh, this one right here. Um, and I will link this in the description. Um, this this guy, uh, Charles Averill, uh, thank you so much because your um, advice here was so useful. Um, so there's a Sprite Renamer. Uh, and it's a throwaway class, you literally run the script and it will rename all of the sprite sheets provided that they are the same, so just different seasons for sprite sheets uh, and it will rename them, uh, so you'll see here uh, you've got your seasonal tile palette, uh, zero and then it'll be the same on all four so because they're named the same um, it will just, um, I've got a test script for this as well, so every time I click it will just cycle through the seasons. Um, if you like the uh, artwork, by the way, um, it's by this guy right here, uh, Salil the Shaper on um, itch.io. Uh, I love his artwork. I think it's amazing. I think it's traditional Harvest Moon style, which is exactly what I'm going for. Um, but yeah, you can download the free sample um, for free, <laughs> or you can pay, which I will be doing. Um, but not yet because I'm scared <laughs> but um, using the four free samples I've put the scene together um, and yeah I mean the cow was part of something else uh, also one of his artwork um, but yeah uh, what we're gonna do now is run the game um, and you're gonna see the scene uh, we're gonna make it big so you can see it there we go um, but yeah so little um, so this this completely test but every time I click it changes each of the individual sprites um, that are on the on the tiles um, to the seasonal one so it just switches between them and it's so intuitive it's such an easy solution this isn't everything this is like a small bit of the things that I need to do um, here's my test script. Um, there's there's it's such a big um, problem because not only do I have to switch the tiles, I have to switch the crops and be able to you know have them grow at different seasons. If they can't grow, then you can't grow them, and they die if it's Stardew Valley style, you know. But it's not it's not as easy under the hood. But yeah, anyway, this is more of an appreciation post than anything. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video and if you're having problems with this as well, definitely go check out that link. Um, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.